Systemic Lupus Erythematosus, SLE. If diseases had personalities, Systemic Lupus Erythematosus, SLE, would be that fake friend who pretends to support you but is secretly ruining your life behind your back. So basically, your immune system is a well-trained security team built to protect you from outside threats like bacteria and viruses. Amazing, right? Well, lupus is what happens when your security team gets confused and starts attacking you instead of intruders. It is literally like having an enemy inside you that launches random surprise attacks on your skin, joints, heart, kidneys, and even brain. And the worst part is, there are no off switches. It's like a horrible betrayal arc in a drama series, except the villain is your own immune system. Now, to make an already bad situation even worse, lupus is highly unpredictable. So one day you feel fine, and the next day your joints hurt, your skin breaks out, your kidneys stop working, and your brain forgets how to brain. It's also called the Great Imitator because it mimics a bunch of other illnesses. You could walk into a doctor's office feeling like your body is falling apart and the only thing they'd be able to diagnose is stress. And yeah, stress makes lupus worse too. So now the disease that already ruins your life gets even worse when you think about how much it's ruining your life. Sadly, there is no cure to this nightmare, so the goal is damage control. Doctors prescribe immune-suppressing drugs, basically telling your overactive immune system to chill. Multiple Sclerosis MS. So, the nerves in your body are basically like electrical wires that carry messages from your brain to the rest of your body. Now, these wires are covered in myelin, and this stuff acts like insulation to keep the signals moving smoothly. Now, imagine if someone kept randomly unplugging and short-circuiting these wires by messing with the myelin. That's literally what MS does. In simple terms, the disease comes into your body and causes your immune system to go insane and start attacking the myelin. And once the myelin is destroyed, your nerves are bare, exposed, and would struggle really hard to function. It's like ripping the insulation off a bunch of electrical cords in your house and wondering why the exposed wires keep electrocuting people. Well, once this happens, your nerve signals would get completely scrambled and damaged. That means your brain might tell your legs to walk, but your legs wouldn't even receive the instructions. In severe cases, MS can cause paralysis, blindness, and the complete loss of independence. But even in milder cases, it slowly chips away at the quality of life. Imagine waking up every day never knowing if your body will cooperate or betray you. This disease is very, very mean. To this day, doctors hmm. have no idea what causes it. All they know is that it shows up uninvited, makes life miserable, and refuses to explain why it's here. And the worst part is that it comes in different stages, but the bottom line is, your quality of life would go downhill progressively until you are completely and utterly exhausted. It's not fun. Since there is basically no cure for the disease, treatments focus on slowing it down, reducing relapses, and managing the unbearable symptoms. Type 1 Diabetes Say you wake up one day to find out that your own immune system, the very thing designed to protect you from disease, has decided to turn against you for absolutely no reason. Well, there is a reason, but nothing justified this evil rogue act. The evil culprit that starts this is your pancreas, the tiny factory that makes insulin for your body. Your immune system would attack the poor guy and stop it from producing insulin, which leaves you high and dry. No insulin means your body can't use sugar properly, so all that sweet, sweet energy just builds up in your bloodstream, making your blood as sugary as a can of soda, but not in a fun way. And thus, type 1 diabetes, T1D, is born, a disease that turns every meal into a science experiment. This autoimmune disease forces you into a lifelong balancing act of blood sugar checks, insulin injections, and enough carb counting to make you a human calculator. Plus, since your body can't use sugar for energy, it starts eating itself instead, so you'll be burning muscle and fat like there's no tomorrow. If untreated, your body would also start breaking down fat for energy, releasing ketones, which are acidic byproducts that make your breath smell like fruity nail polish remover. If ketones build up too much, it leads to diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA, a life-threatening emergency that can put you in a coma or worse. The sugar overload would eventually damage blood vessels in your eyes, leading to permanent vision loss. 
And unlike type 2 diabetes, which is often linked to diet, lifestyle, and genetics, type 1 is an autoimmune disease, meaning you didn't cause it. Your body just decided to betray you for no reason. If you love and support The Evaluator, click on the subscribe button. Scleroderma. It was just a regular Monday morning, but the only difference is you woke up and realized that your skin suddenly feels as tight as shrink wrap and your fingers and joints are acting like they've been soaked in concrete and left to dry. Panicking, you rush to the hospital where the doctor informs you that you have a condition called scleroderma, the autoimmune disease that turns your body into a rock-solid work of unwanted art. Basically, scleroderma is an autoimmune disease where your immune system goes rogue like a security team that suddenly starts attacking its own building. Normally, your immune system is supposed to protect you from invaders, but in this case, it starts producing way too much collagen, causing your skin and even internal organs to harden and stiffen. Think of collagen as the body's natural glue. Great in moderation, but when overproduced, it's like someone filled your body with concrete instead of moisturizer. Now, with this disease, there are two types called the localized and systemic scleroderma. With the localized, the skin would slowly harden and tighten over time. In some people, it would develop like patches of stiff, discolored skin called morphia, while others get deep linear streaks called linear scleroderma that make it look like someone tried to carve battle scars into their flesh. Now, if you think localized scleroderma sounds horrible, then systemic sclerosis is its evil older sibling because this version doesn't just stop at the skin. It marches through your bloodstream like an invading army affecting your lungs, heart, kidneys, and digestive system. First, your lungs would start to harden, then your esophagus stiffen, so even swallowing food turns into a struggle. Not one to be outdone, your heart and kidneys would also join in the chaos, leading to all sorts of complications that can range from high blood pressure to full organ failure. However, it doesn't stop here, as most people with scleroderma also develop Renault's phenomenon, a condition where your fingers and toes randomly get frostbite. They'll turn white, blue, and painfully numb one moment, and when blood flow returns, they'll burn like they're being roasted over an open flame. Sadly, while there's no way to fully stop the disease, there are treatments that can slow it down and manage symptoms. Doctors might prescribe immunosuppressants to tell your overactive immune system to chill out, anti-inflammatory medications to reduce pain, and physical therapy to keep you from turning into a human mannequin. Myasthenia gravis. Your body, on a normal day, functions like a well-coordinated team. Your brain is the official boss that sends out orders telling every part of your body what to do. These commands travel down your nerves, where a chemical messenger called acetylcholine, aka achill, if you will, delivers the message to your muscles, telling them it's time to move. Now, when myasthenia gravis enters, it'll basically start sabotaging everything. And just like that, your immune system, which is supposed to be out there fighting germs, decides that HL looks sketchy and starts producing antibodies to block it. This means that every time your brain tries to send a message, your muscles would literally refuse to deliver these messages or instructions to the designated body part. At first, they might respond half-heartedly, but after a little effort, they'll just stop answering altogether. Well, the simple result is progressive muscle weakness that gets worse the more you use them. So, while most people get stronger with exercise, MG patients get weaker, which, let's be honest, feels like the ultimate slap in the face from biology. Normally, these symptoms would start from droopy eyelids, slurred speech, chewing and swallowing issues, the progressive tweak in arms and legs, and then finally breathing problems known as the myasthenic crisis. While MG does not discriminate and is literally an equal opportunity menace, it is more likely to hit women under 40 and men over 60 the hardest, and no one knows why. It's not contagious, and while it can sometimes run in families, most cases appear out of nowhere like an unwanted pop-up ad. One day you're fine, and the next, your body decides to throw a deadly, unending tantrum. Rheumatoid Arthritis Rheumatoid arthritis, RA, is honestly one of the most rude, disrespectful, and unnecessary autoimmune diseases out there. This guy doesn't just attack your joints, it starts an all-out war on your body like it's auditioning for a villain role in an action movie. And the worst part? It's your immune system doing this. 
Yep, your body's own security team is literally now treating your joints like criminals. In a great world, your joints are like a well-oiled machine because they move smoothly, making no weird noises or grinding. But as soon as RA enters, it feels like someone threw sand and pebbles into that well-oiled machine, and just like that, everything would become a stiff, painful movement like an old creaky door in a horror movie. You'd wake up every morning with severe stiffness, swollen and painful joints, and constant fatigue. Over time, RA would twist your fingers and joints into unnatural positions. Sadly, doctors still don't know why exactly RA happens, but genetics, hormones, and even a history of smoking can be the cause. The worst part is that it goes on a road trip across your whole body, attacking your heart, your lungs, your eyes, and even your skin. Basically, RA isn't just a joint problem, it's a full body betrayal. Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So, your thyroid is like a tiny manager in your neck, running the whole energy department of your body. It controls how fast you burn calories, how much energy you have, and even how moody you are. Basically, it's the CEO of your metabolism. Now, imagine one day your immune system stages a corporate coup, firing the thyroid, trashing the office, and leaving you with zero energy, a slow metabolism, and a body that's basically running on Windows 95. That is literally Hashimoto's thyroiditis, an autoimmune disease where your immune system decides your thyroid is the enemy and slowly destroys it over time. This condition leads to hypothyroidism, which is a fancy way of saying your metabolism slows down to a crawl. It was named after Dr. Hakuru Hashimoto, who discovered it in 1912, probably while wondering why some of his patients were gaining weight despite barely eating and sleeping 12 hours a day. This disease doesn't just make you tired, it makes you feel like your entire body is stuck in slow motion while the rest of the world runs at full speed. Aside from exhaustion, weight gain without the fun of eating, you'll also be extremely depressed, lose your hair, and wake up every day looking like you had a boxing match with your pillow. Because you'll have a permanent puffy face and swollen neck. Once again, Hashimoto's has no cure, but you can manage it and start feeling like a functional human again. Thyroid medication like levothyroxine can be taken to replace what your body can't make. It's basically an energy booster in pill form. Also, tweaking your diet, avoiding gluten, and balancing iodine intake is also a perfect way to manage the symptoms. Pemphigus vulgaris If autoimmune diseases were supervillains, Pemphigus vulgaris PV, would be the one that sets everything on fire and laughs while doing it. This condition doesn't just attack your body, it literally melts your skin off like someone threw acid on you. So, your skin, as you know, is beautifully held together by a super strong glue called desmoglion. This glue keeps your skin cells snug, secure, and helps it not to fall apart. But if you have the condition known as Pemphigus vulgaris, your immune system would basically wage a war on the strong glue, causing your skin to literally unglue itself forming huge, painful blisters. That's right, your body turns into a self-destructing bubble wrap, except instead of a satisfying pop, you get open wounds, infections, and enough pain to make you question all your life choices. Something as simple as wearing a t-shirt or brushing your hair can make your skin peel off like a bad sunburn on steroids, and even eating would be hell because painful blisters would pop up everywhere inside your mouth. And just when you think it couldn't possibly get any worse, these blisters don't heal fast, they get infected easily, and over time your body just starts looking like a battlefield. The worst part is, you did absolutely nothing to deserve this horrible curse because Pemphigus vulgaris is an autoimmune disease, meaning your immune system just woke up one day and chose violence. Scientists believe it's partly genetic, but can also be triggered by infections, certain medications, or even stress. Basically, life itself is a potential trigger. Unfortunately, Pemphigus vulgaris is one of the worst autoimmune diseases out there, mainly because it turns your own skin into its personal playground of destruction. But thanks to modern medicine, it's not a guaranteed death sentence anymore. Just a high-maintenance, incredibly painful, and life-altering one. Vasculitis We've already come to understand that your immune system's main job is to fight off invaders, viruses, bacteria, and whatever questionable street food you decide to eat at 3 a.m. But sometimes it malfunctions like a bad GPS, gets confused, and starts attacking the very thing it's supposed to protect, 
your blood vessels. Well, that's vasculitis, a disease where your own immune system goes rogue and attacks your blood vessels for no logical reason. This isn't just a minor inconvenience. Vasculitis can cause inflammation, blockages, organ damage, and even death if left unchecked. Since blood vessels are everywhere, this disease can hit any part of the body, leaving no organ safe. One day your kidneys might be under attack, the next your lungs could decide to join the rebellion. It's like your body is hosting a chaotic, full-scale war, and unfortunately, you're the battlefield. The thing is, though, vasculitis isn't a one-size-fits-all disaster, as it comes in several different forms, each with its own special way of ruining your day. First, there's the giant cell arteritis, GCA, which attacks the larger arteries in the head and neck. You'll experience mind-blowing headaches, jaw pain, and sudden vision loss. This one mostly affects people over 50 because apparently aging wasn't difficult enough. And if left untreated, it can permanently blind you or cause a stroke. <laughs> No pressure. Then there's Takayasu's arteritis, which targets the aorta and its branches. It'll cut off blood flow to the arms, leading to no detectable pulse, which, fun fact, is not ideal. It can lead to heart failure, strokes, or aneurysms, which are just a fancy way of saying your blood vessels might randomly explode. The next meal in this course is polyarteritis nodosa, PAN, aka the blood vessel wrecking ball. This goes after every medium-sized artery in your body. It's basically the spin-the-wheel version of vasculitis because you never know which organ will be next. It can completely block blood supply to major organs, leading to some very bad days. Since blood vessels are everywhere, vasculitis symptoms depend on which ones are under attack. But at the end of the day, they are all out to make your life a living nightmare.